joining us for a few weeks while his father works in town. May I have a volunteer to show him around? Okay, Lucian. This is Brick Barker. Brick, this is Lucian Cramp. He'll be your tour guide. Hiya, tour guide. At home, me and my pop eat nothing but five pound steaks. And when he was in the army, pop killed a bear with his bare hands and then roasted it on an open. Gross. You got a problem? No, no problem. <laughs> I'm hungry. More food. The lunch ladies are very strict about portion control. But maybe because you're new, you can ask. Man, my stomach is <sighs> I, I ain't talking to the giant women. You do it. But I'm not hungry. <laughs> Excuse me? I hear a friend of Mr. Pretty is selling designer hairnets and other food service fashions in the teacher's cafeteria. Really? <laughs> nice one, tour guide. <laughs> <laughs> like a Tasmanian devil with attitude, Tony. He out-bullies Wayne by a long shot. Huh? I heard that, lizard legs! Take it back! You're more afraid of me than anyone! Oh, no, Wayne. Face it. Compared to Brick, you're an amateur bully. Master! Master! Quick, slash door! Ah, oh, forget this. I'll push you. Looks like there's a new terror in the schoolyard, Wayneykins. He's not so tough, toilet teeth. Watch this. Lucian, get back on the spinning around. I'm gonna push you even faster and make you fall off and barf, because I'm the best bully. Hey! You just stepped on my shoelace. Sorry. I didn't do it on purpose, I... I like you! We should be friends! Friends? Friends? I never had a friend before. Okay, put it there, friend. Oh. Oh. Hey, tour guy! I don't need you anymore. I got a friend. Glad it worked out for you. And me and my new friend challenge everyone to a game of dodgeball. <laughs> Come on! Somebody pick up the ball! Or else! I got it! You're out! You're double out! Oh, I wish Pop could see me now. Today for music appreciation, we are going to learn about a wonderful art form called opera. Aww. Excellent. Ow! Wayne, you're one more yelp away from detention. Bad 
giant woman. Quiet, Wayne. <laughs> Hiya, friend. Ah, don't touch me. Come on, let's play. Can't. Mom, I'm home. Ooh. Where have you been? Your friend is waiting for you. Ah! What took you so long? Hey, good to have you at the chuck wagon, Brick. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> how much do you weigh? Uh, 200? 220 pounds? <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, we, we're so glad Wayne has a little, uh, big, um, new friend. Mommy, can I have another meatball? Of course, dear. <laughs> yes, first, I guess. Ow! Ow! Can we do something else? No, this is fun. Ow! Get back here, friend! I need to take a wee-wee break! <laughs> so, how do you like getting bullied? I'm not getting bullied! Brick's my friend! I have to go home now, but I'm borrowing some of your comics. That's my whole collection! So? So, enjoy them! What's happening to Wayne is so ironic. The bully's getting bullied. It's the lovely swamp, Lucian. Plus, he deserves it for the way he bullies you. But I actually feel bad for him. I wonder why Brick behaves like he does. If only I could figure him out. Wayne's your brother, and you can't figure him out. Yeah, but Wayne's just... insane. little help here, dear? You sorry excuse for a man! Give me that! You can't even open jars! And if it weren't for my job, we'd be living on the street! Well, <clears throat> technically, Pumpkin, we do live on the street. Don't you sass me! And get my dinner! Isn't it obvious? Rick must be ashamed of his tiny father. And scared of his giant mother! There's nothing wrong with being tiny, Lucian. How's this gonna help Wayne anyway? Simple. Wayne can tell him. If Brick understands why he has problems, he can become a better person. Wayne can help him have a cathartic, eye-opening, life-changing experience! Like on a talk show! Oh. What's with the outfit, friend? I don't want to be your friend anymore. You're a bully. Call me a bully again, and I'm gonna hurt you. Oh, Wayne, you're so brave for taking Brick on. I'm not fighting. I just want him to leave me alone. Go get him, you beast. You hit me. No, I didn't. Now, promise to be friends forever. Or else! Listen, you... you... Hey, I forgot what I was supposed to say. Brick, we know about your dad being tiny and your mom being really big and pushing him around. And maybe she pushes you around. But that's no reason to push other people around. That tiny guy is my stepdad. My real dad is building a skyscraper. And my mommy would never push me. She loves me! But, uh, being the product of a broken home has turned you into a bitter bully? You're kooky. I think Brick's just mean. Free candy for everyone who jumps Brick! Come on, large lips. 
we're leaving town. The police tracked Mom down again, and we got a split. Ah, don't touch me! By the way, Wimpo, Mom told me to clean up this morning, so I threw away all your comic books. My comic books? His comic books! Hey, giant girl! Brick said you were a thunderbutt! Bad Brick! Hey, that hurts! Good! Amateur bully! <laughs> well done, Wayne. You escaped from being a victim. Shut up, girl pants. I'm not a victim. You are! Ugh. Didn't you learn anything from all this? Yeah, this! Ugh. Very cool. Pushed me into the door frame. Sorry, girl pants. I was turning. Maybe I forgot to signal. Boop, boop, turn! <laughs> Have you noticed that woman across the street? Um, yes, I saw her moving in. She seems very suspicious. She does? Marcia saw her at the supermarket buying foreign food and nature-friendly cleaning products. Do you know anything about our new neighbor across the road, dear? Marcia and Tandy think she's suspicious. Maybe she's a spy! She's not a spy, Wayne. Marcia and Tandy are always suspicious of anyone new in the neighborhood. Spies do exist, Lucian. Uh, sure, Dad. And what exactly would a spy want in Soap City? I've just been given a brand new deodorant to sell. Maybe she's after that. You guys are nuts! Maybe, but spies are cool! I'm gonna be a spy when I grow up. You don't know how to grow up. Hmm? Ha! You're learning, lady legs! Have a nice. Oh. Worried about spies? You can't be too paranoid, Mrs. Cramp. That's why I recommend Spy King high tech protection products. Oh! Agent X, you, you surprised me. <laughs> How did you get in? They don't call me Agent X for nothing. <laughs> Take a look at the catalog, Dotty. And they all think she's a spy, Tony. It's crazy. Lucian, you're scaring me. She's not really a spy, is she? No, Tony, there aren't any spies around here. That is the whole point. Baby monitor, Wayne. A simple two-way radio to let you know when your baby wakes up. Yeah? Well, it's not! That lady's up to something! Oh, hello. I just moved in across the road, and I wondered, could I borrow some sugar? Ooh, you keep a very tidy home. Perhaps you'd like to come over for some coffee sometime and... Just take the sugar and go! Oh! See? She is spying on us! I ordered you...
you a Spy King security briefcase today, honey. And we guarantee speedy delivery. Hey, how did you get in here? Your new briefcase is easy to use, Mr. Cramp. You just use these keys to type in your personal password. You know, I feel safer already. Got any other stuff? Of course, little man. Take a look at these samples. Sure. We'll take it, we'll take it all! Wayne, I don't think we can afford all those fancy gadgets. But this is an emergency! We've got a spy next door! No, we don't. Now, son, it's always a good idea to keep an eye on your neighbor. If there is a security risk, one needs to be prepared. I could listen to you talk all night. If only I had the time. But there are others in need of protection, too. Let me show you the door. I don't get it. This Agent X guy just comes in and out of our house whenever he pleases and nobody even cares? Oh, uh, I've got other worries, Lucian. I, I can't open my new briefcase. I'll help you, Dad. Hey! Desist. Desist. Police assistance will be summoned in 10 seconds. 9 Get bent. 8 ah. seconds. You have decided to reset your security code. Aces! games on a tricycle is very dangerous, young man. Sorry, bye! I'm confused, Lucian. First you say there aren't any spies around here, and now you say that Agent X guy is spying on you, and you're looking for a secret tunnel? Well, how else would you explain the way he comes and goes, Tony? I don't know. Just a spy, she's a thief! Hey, that's my briefcase! Your briefcase, is it, sir? Then how do you explain this? Uh, hey, you got it open. It's all been a bit of a mix up. <laughs> that case of spy stuff just looked like my case, but the password was girl pants. It wasn't mine at all. Don't look at me, lady baby. I'm not a spy. If you ask me, you all owe the woman across the road an apology. 
The only spy around here is Agent X. Don't be horrible, Lucian. Agent X isn't a spy. He's an agent! Aha! Uh -huh. There's my briefcase! Agent X just put it there. No, he didn't. Hello, uh, neighbor. We uh, brought you some cakes. Huh, what are they? Spy cakes? Do they have secret bugging devices inside? <laughs> that Mrs. Cramp is a suspicious woman. We never liked her. <laughs> 